Number 9. LeMay and Leandra Matthews On March the 21st of 2017, teenager Christian Matthews was found unresponsive in the basement of his family's home in Silver Spring, Maryland. An autopsy determined that the teenager had been strangled to death. His sister Leandra had called the police and reported that she was in an upstairs bedroom with her sister LeMay when they heard a struggle in the basement. Tyshawn Lipford, Leandra's boyfriend and father to two of her children, was arrested later in March and confessed to strangling Christian to death. He claimed that he'd gone into the basement while the teen was asleep and placed him in a chokehold, which he kept applying until he was dead. Lipford was found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to 30 years in prison in 2019. Two years later, in September, 23-year-old LeMay and Leandra were arrested for conspiring to commit their brother's murder along with a man by the name of Daniel Howard, who was identified in court documents as Ghost. Leandra was allegedly the killing's mastermind after Christian had threatened to hurt her and her daughter. She'd told Tipford in text messages that her brother had to go and that the plan had to be carried out on her terms. On the night of Christian's death, LeMay had agreed to watch her twin's baby as she went out to pick up Tipford and Howard. The two men were granted access to the basement where Howard held Christian down while Tipford choked him to death. LeMay later told officers that she'd been familiar with the plan but thought that the others only meant to beat Christian up. She pleaded guilty to being an accessory after the fact and agreed to testify against Leandra and Howard. Number 8. Consuela and Ali Jones Two sisters, popular on the TikTok social media platform, were arrested in their native Mobile, Alabama, following a shooting that left two people injured in March of 2022. Consuela and Ali Jones had over 1 million followers on TikTok, where they were known as the famous twins. A live stream from Matra Park showed them shooting their guns as a crowd scattered. A woman and a teenager were struck by gunfire but were not reported to be in life-threatening danger and were expected to recover. Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine suspected that the Jones sisters had decided to live stream the shooting to gain further attention on social media and thus promote their aspiring rap career. The twins were arrested and charged with second-degree assault for the shooting incident and released on bail. Consuela, who performed as Sway Bentley, was arrested again only days later for use or possession of drug paraphernalia and second-degree possession of marijuana. Number 7. Darcy and Stacy Silver Reality TV stars Darcy and Stacy Silver, who rose to prominence by appearing on the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, were arrested following a fight that occurred on February the 8th of 2018 at their apartment in Middletown, Connecticut. The police were called to the residence for what was reported as a domestic disturbance. Upon being questioned, Darcy claimed that her sister had begun throwing things around their home before pushing her. Stacy reported that Darcy had become extremely upset after being woken up and that she'd started flipping furniture in the kitchen before the argument turned physical. Two unnamed witnesses at the scene reported that no punches were thrown and added that they'd observed the sisters pulling and pushing on each other around the apartment. Darcy and Stacy were charged with disorderly conduct and the case was eventually dismissed. In October of 2018, Stacy indicated that the fight had been about Jesse Meester, who'd also appeared on the reality series and with whom Darcy had had a turbulent relationship. Stacy reportedly disapproved of the manner in which he'd treated her sister and claimed she'd tried to open her eyes about it. She also indicated that it was a typical sibling disagreement and that they'd made up. The twins went on to have their own show on TLC called Darcy and Stacy, which premiered in August of 2020. Number 6. Alina and Sasha Parker British twin sisters Alina and Sasha Parker, aged 37, were arrested by law enforcement in Dubai on August the 4th of 2017. Both were at the time employed by a reputable law firm in the Emirates and enjoyed a lavish lifestyle which they shared on social media. Prior to moving to Dubai while they were studying law in London, Alina and Sasha had starred together in several adult films. On August the 4th, they were reportedly inebriated outside of a hotel 
in the Al Basha district and paramedics were called to the scene following reports that Alina had injured her hand. Law enforcement also arrived at the scene and while Alina was receiving treatment in the ambulance, Sasha was reportedly shouting outside. One of the Parker sisters then slammed the vehicle's door on a paramedic's hand, but the emergency worker declined to press charges. As tensions escalated, the sisters refused to cooperate with local law enforcement and were taken into custody. At the police station, they were left alone in the car with a 23-year-old female officer. In the absence of her colleagues, the latter was allegedly wrestled to the ground by the twins and assaulted, even though she maintained to have not provoked them in any fashion. The Parker sisters were also reported to have uttered insults to Arab women during the attack. They were arrested while the policewoman was transported to her hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. At a subsequent hearing, the twins vigorously maintained their innocence and denied charges of resisting arrest, physical assault and making insults. Alina and Sasha claimed they'd actually been the victims of mistreatment by Dubai police, but were eventually sentenced to six months in jail. Number 5. Sophie and Katie Wood On February the 2nd of 2020, twin sisters Sophie and Katie Wood were on a night out in England's Manchester city centre at around 2 a.m. As they walked in the direction of Deansgate Station to get a cab home, Sophie bumped into a group of women. One of them told Sophie to watch where she was going, prompting her to suddenly and brutally attack her. She punched the other woman repeatedly as Katie joined the melee, parts of which were captured on bystander cell phone footage. The 21-year-old twin sisters were seen dragging their victims by the hair while also kicking and punching them. One woman said to Katie during the fight, you hit my friends for no reason, to which she responded by striking her multiple times. Katie at one point removed her high-heeled shoe and used it as a weapon, delivering further blows to her head. Four women were left with injuries to their arms, legs and faces as a result of the twins' relentless pummeling. A car arrived to pick them up and it was subsequently tracked down by the police. In the trunk, officers found a shoe with strands of hair and blood on the straps. Sophie and Katie were arrested but ultimately avoided jail time for the attack as a judge took into account their lack of priors and that the incident had seemed wholly out of character. They pleaded guilty to one count of assault occasioned in actual bodily harm and one count of affray. They were sentenced to six months imprisonment, suspended for 12 months, and ordered to perform community services as well as to undergo rehabilitation activities. Number 4. Michael and James Romelius Florida twins Michael and James Romelius, aged 52, were arrested in Orange City after an argument between them had descended into violence. As the verbal dispute escalated, they went into the street and picked up bricks, which they used to threaten each other. Michael then hurled one at his brother, hitting him in the leg. James retaliated with a brick of his own, which struck Michael in the eye. The latter was shown with a bruise in his mugshot after he and his brother were arrested on charges of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Michael's bail was set at $20,000, while his brother was held on one of $25,000. Number three. Louis and Vincent Iacono In 2017, twins Louis and Vincent Iacono were arrested in connection to the murder of Carmine Carini Jr., the son of Carmine Carini Sr., an associate to the New York's Gambino crime family. Based on a story published by the New York Times, the Iacono twins and Carini Jr. had been lifelong friends and were living together at a home on East 64th Street in Brooklyn. At the time, Carini Jr. was in and out of jail for parole violations. After having served five years in prison for an incident in which he'd robbed 10 people around South Brooklyn in the span of one hour, his brother had died from an overdose after becoming addicted to painkillers, while Carmine Sr. was in prison for posing as a cop and committing a string of violent robberies. The twins had substantial criminal records as well with Vincent's including 22 past arrests and 12 misdemeanor convictions and Louis featuring six arrests, including for criminal mischief. In late August, either on the 30th or the 31st, Louis and Carini Jr. reportedly fought over money. The conflict culminated with Louis striking him with a hammer, fatally fracturing his skull and jaw. He and his brother placed his body in a tarp, which they sealed with duct tape. 
and tied a cinder block as well as a bucket filled with construction materials to his legs. They then dumped the body in Jamaica Bay. Surveillance footage captured the twins buying the materials and later disposing of Carini Jr.'s remains, which turned up a few days later. By then, the Iaconos had fled to Indiana, where they were arrested on unrelated charges on September the 6th. Law enforcement in Henry County had initiated a traffic stop for a license plate violation, but Louis sped away in their Chevrolet Avalanche. The twins were arrested following a high-speed chase through the county. They were charged with resisting law enforcement and drug possession after the police had found pills and heroin in their vehicle. Vincent and Louis were extradited to their home state once Indiana police learned they were murder suspects and contacted the NYPD. As of the latest updates, Louis' murder trial was still pending. Vincent spent 15 months in prison after he was convicted of tampering with evidence for helping his brother dispose of Carini Jr.'s body. He was paroled in July of 2020. In June of the following year, he was found dead in a Brooklyn apartment from an apparent overdose a day before his 40th birthday. Number 2. Anastasia and Alexandria Duval From 2008 to 2014, twin sisters Anne and Alison Dado, originally from Utica, New York, ran a series of popular yoga studios in Palm Beach County, Florida. Although the business had initially been successful, they eventually filed for bankruptcy and in 2015 relocated to Hawaii. Anne and Allison changed their names and reinvented themselves as Anastasia and Alexandria Duval. A Florida chef who dated the former for half a year prior to the move would later report that on several occasions he'd witnessed explosive fights between the sisters. The altercations would occur without warning and often in public places. One factor in the conflicts, as described by the former boyfriend, was Alexandria being jealous of her sister who always got the guy. On May the 29th of 2016, the 38-year-olds were in an SUV traveling down the Oceanside Hanna Highway in Maui. Witnesses would later report seeing an intense physical struggle occur in the vehicle. The driver, Alexandria, then accelerated and took a sharp left turn. The SUV slammed into a rock wall and then went off the cliff, plunging roughly 200 feet to the rocky shoreline below. Anastasia was pronounced dead at the scene while Alexandria was taken to a hospital in critical condition. She survived and was subsequently charged with her sister's second-degree murder, with prosecutors claiming she'd intentionally driven off the cliff. In 2018, she forewent a trial by jury and opted to have a Hawaii circuit judge decide the case. He found her not guilty. The key piece of exculpatory evidence came in the form of pieces of hair found in Anastasia's hand. It was determined that her violently pulling on Alexandria's hair had caused her to lose control of the SUV. Number 1. Christopher and William Cormier On September the 13th of 2012, a journalist from Pensacola, Florida, was reported missing after he'd failed to show up for lunch with a friend, who subsequently called him repeatedly before finding that his home was empty. Prior to 30-year-old Sean Dugas's disappearance, Twins Christopher and William Cormier had visited him from Georgia and had invited them to stay at his home. The brothers, then 31 years old, were Dugas' childhood friends who'd bonded with him over a shared interest in the fantasy card game Magic the Gathering. Later on in September, the twins pulled up to their father's home in Winder, Georgia, with a U-Hauler and explained that the things inside were friends. A foul odor emanated from the vehicle which they claimed came from the friend's dog that had died on the way from Pensacola. They buried the remains in their father's backyard. Pensacola police then determined that William had been the last person to see Dugas prior to his disappearance and called his father asking for him on October the 8th. Law enforcement examined the man's backyard and under a slab of freshly poured concrete found a storage container with Dugas's decomposing remains. After the twins were arrested, Christopher spoke to the police and placed the blame on his brother. He claimed that he'd seen William chase Dugas and strike him in the back of the head. William was subsequently captured on surveillance footage buying a tarp and storage container from a local Walmart. The twins then took Dugas's rear fantasy card collection, valued at around $100,000, and sold it for about a fifth of its worth. At his trial, William maintained that he'd done as instructed by his brother and claimed he had no idea 
Dugas was dead, insisting he thought they were selling his belongings to settle his debts. Ultimately, William was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Christopher pleaded no contest to robbery and being an accessory to murder for which he was given concurrent 15-year sentences. Thanks for watching. Would you rather have an evil twin and get blamed for all their wrongdoings or have a clone of yourself that was trying to take over your life? Let us know in the comments section below.